So we are visiting a really, really special location this week. We're actually in a rainforest in North Wales and more specifically, we're in the fabulous Snowdonia National Park and I am very excited to be here. And let me tell you, this place feels incredibly magical. It feels like a classic enchanted forest and I'm loving every second of it so far. Now, we're here at a really good time of year, obviously we're in autumn. If we're being fussy, potentially one or two weeks late, past the peak of autumn, however, it's still looking fabulous, really polychromatic. We've got beautiful, fantastic autumnal colors everywhere, so I'm not gonna complain about that too much. So we've got a sort of one, one and a half hour loop track to explore this forest. Nothing too strenuous. So as always, gonna really, really enjoy this week's adventure and hopefully get one or two nice photos as well. This place, as I've mentioned, is looking incredible. So I think I'd probably feel like a little bit of an idiot if I leave here without at least one decent photograph. Ah, what a wonderful place. So come with me as always, guys. Let's go and explore this enchanted forest. So I said it at the start of the video, and I'll say it again. This place is absolutely magical. It really, really is the best word to describe this woodland. Just remarkable. Now, as I continue exploring, I wanted to stop briefly and answer a question, really, that I really think I would be asking if I was watching this video for the first time and if I'd never been to this sort of location before. And that question is basically, what is a rainforest? What constitutes a rainforest? Why is it different from your local woodland really? I think that's a very fair question. And before I get into this, I want you to know I'm really not an expert on this topic at all and I could have sat at home and researched rainforests. I could have gone on Wikipedia, typed in rainforest and just researched and then spouted that all to you guys. However, I didn't want to do that because anybody can do that. What I wanted to do was come to this woodland with a real open mind and really get a feel for it myself and then try and express those feelings to you guys because I think that's much more important. And the first thing that I will say about this, this rainforest is the moss. There is moss absolutely everywhere. It's on the tree trunks, the branches. It's all across the bed of the forest. It's on the path that I'm trying to walk down and it's incredible, it's absolutely phenomenal and it really, really does give the forest sort of an extra dimension almost and not just in a photographical sense, it's really, really attractive on the eye and it gives the place a really, really nice feeling and it's, it's just, it just feels so lush here, so luscious, absolutely amazing. Um, so I'm really hoping to sort of capture some of this moss in one of today's photographs, providing that I can find a subject and a composition. So we shall see, but apart from that, to be honest, there's nothing that feels too different, if I'm being really, really honest with you. Um, but yeah, it's just really, really enchanting and magical, uh, and I'm, I'm loving it. I'm really, really loving it here. And the next challenge, the next goal, is to try and find a subject. We've got some gorgeous oak trees in this forest. It is actually an Atlantic oak woodland, so I'd really love to capture one of those, especially one with um, covered in all this beautiful moss. So yeah, that's the goal for the rest of the day. So let's crack on, come with me.
So, as the rain tumbles down here now, whoa, in North Wales, in this rainforest, I've found a composition. So, it's not gonna get me down. And, on top of that, it's an oak tree. And on top of that, it's covered in moss. So it's everything that I said in my last dialogue that I wanted to find, so I'm really happy, actually. And I think I'm quite happy with this, this composition at least for now and yeah I think it tells a wonderful story of this this woodland this rainforest so far actually in a few different elements that I want to talk you through so what I really like here is obviously the oak tree itself is wonderful but we've got this fallen branch here down on the floor which is covered in moss and I just think it works as a perfect leading line into the oak tree, into the main subject, which works fantastically. And it just, just so happens to be covered in moss, which like I say, is exactly what I wanted to photograph, so I'm happy with that. Now what I've done here is, I've got the fallen branch and the oak tree in the sort of left-hand third of my image. But then what I've done is I've actually got the pathway in the image as well, which is sort of beyond the tree. And that's in the dead center of the frame which I think is, is just awesome. It, it sort of tells a really nice story of this woodland, like I said, and it, it, I think it really sort of gets across the, the majesty that I'm feeling in this woodland, which is just fabulous. Um, so it's quite challenging because we're getting a few raindrops on the lens every now and again. But I'm shooting at F9, ISO 100, and around about one eighth of a second, I'm actually underexposing a little bit um, in a way that I'm not clipping the shadows at all. The only reason I'm doing that is because we're getting a little bit of sky in the, in the photograph as well, which is flat and quite boring. Um, but I just don't want it to be overexposed, basically. Another thing that's quite nice as well, and something else which is beyond the oak tree, is we've got a pine tree there in the background, which is yellow. It's got yellow leaves, yellow pine needles, whatever. Um, which is capturing a little bit of autumn as well. So an all-round fantastic image, I think, there. Um, which, yeah, like I said a couple of times, tells a really nice story of this woodland so far. So I hope you like it, and we're going to continue exploring in this gorgeous Welsh weather. Wow, would you look at that. What a waterfall. Honestly, genuinely now, I had absolutely no idea that this was here. I guess I just, I suppose I didn't see it when I was checking my OS maps, but what a welcome surprise, absolutely amazing. Um, I can't remember the last time I shot a waterfall, I'm so happy. I think Taranaki Falls in New Zealand was the last time. Okay, so welcome to Taranaki Falls. Get a look at that. Absolutely incredible. So yeah, it's been a while. Um, I've got a composition in mind already. We've got this, this plunge pool down here, which comes out pretty far. Um, it's gonna get sort of set up on the shoreline here, if you wanna call it that. Um, and I'll talk you guys through it. Oh, wow. Absolutely magical. I've just looked at my OS maps, by the way, as well, because I wanted to find out the name of this waterfall. I'll pull it up at the bottom of the screen there. But I wanted to see how far along the loop track I've come because the sun sets in about 40 minutes 
I've barely even scratched the surface of this forest. I've literally gone about a quarter of the hour and a half loop track. Um, but it's took me like two or three hours because this place is just so beautiful and so magical. I've just been stopping every two minutes. So, yeah, it's somewhere that I'm going to have to come back to, I'm going to have to return to and explore properly, you know, get here a little bit earlier in the morning and stuff like that. But yeah, um, fantastic waterfall, really, really happy with this find. And I was going to use my ND filter, I was going to use my six stop, but fairly dim lighting wise now and with my polarizer on at f14 i'm getting a four second shutter speed which is absolutely spot on that's iso 100 by the way so i'm really really happy with that i do not need my nd filter um sort you through my composition a little bit it's really really simple and um, we've got these few rocks here and a little bit of a log that's going to be in the bottom left third of my image and then the top right third of my image we've got the waterfall which is just fantastic because we've got that pure pearly white water contrasted with the black cliffs there right right behind it which is just a beautiful contrast absolutely amazing and in my frame as well in the sort of bottom right hand diagonal i've got a few of these um, leaves that are right on the shoreline here all these autumnal oak leaves which is amazing and i think that also adds a little bit a little bit of interest to the image as well you know it shows what time of year that we're here um, and it's also something that's going to be gone within the next couple of weeks so that's always something that's quite nice as well um, so i'll take that shot now four second shutter speed which is just perfect to capture a little bit of movement in the waterfall but not too much and that's wonderful my histogram is looking spot on perfectly balanced i only need to take one image focus on the waterfall 11 millimeters absolutely amazing Oh wow, what a day out with my camera, what an adventure and probably most importantly what an incredible location, so so inspiring, if you're into your woodland photography I recommend this highly, if you're not into your woodland photography and you're after some inspiration I recommend this highly, ah oh, what a forest, incredible, unfortunately like I said the day is drawing in on us, we've got half an hour till the sunset now and I haven't got time to complete the loop track but I shall be returning here. I think I say that quite often in my videos. I always watch them back and think, you always say you're going to go back to places but you're not. But yeah, I think this one is on the definite list. Just so inspiring and magical. Um, really hope you enjoyed the adventure. Hope you enjoyed the photography. Um, thanks so much for watching. Please like and comment on the video. It's always massively appreciated. It helps me out so much. And yeah, as always, I'll see you guys next week on the next adventure. Out! Oh, I forgot my camera. <laughs> Silly Billy. See you later. <laughs>